Hey, hi, this is Vivek from OptiTeam and I would be showcasing you a small demo uh, or this video wherein uh, we are talking about how automation can be done with model based testing approach. So uh, let me give you a brief about model based testing first, what that is all about. So model based testing is something wherein we can, uh, or let's say a business user can create a model and that model can be used for uh, creating the test cases. So uh, what that means is, uh, let me show you how to create a model first. So we'll uh, go to this uh, option and we'll create a, new, uh, create a new model file. You can give it a name as MBT, you can give any name to it. So a business user can create this model uh, with the functionalities like, so there are uh, some vertexes and edges. So these boxes, we call them as vertexes as in the language of uh, MBT. And uh, these vertexes can be uh, attached to an automation component that business component could be anything like let's say a small example is login to Oracle EBS application that's one business component for me so this business component contains uh, multiple steps in it which can be uh, let's say uh, login or let's say op opening up a browser then uh, you know filling up the username filling up the password and clicking on the login button so this uh, business component can be attached to this particular uh, vertex we can drag and drop those vertexes from the right panel and can create a model uh, that is something which can be done by any particular, uh, let's say a business analyst or any uh, uh, tester as well, uh, that can be done. But once that business component or the business model is created, uh, Opki is something, Opki, uh, uh, you know, can create automatic test cases out of it. So what we have done is uh, the second, uh, you can say the second, uh, you know, uh, this vertex is create requisition. So after login to Oracle application, let's say we are doing a requisition. We are uh, creating a purchase order. So I'm just, you know, uh, creating those uh, uh, boxes over here, those vertexes, and we can add them together to create a, you know, a business model. So we can either do it by writing those uh, steps in these boxes, or we can right click and uh, map it within pre-existing uh, business component, which is created. Uh, so there are a few options to do that and we can do it uh, like this. So we are just arranging them and now we can connect them together. So this now while connecting these two vertexes as well, there is one more a small box is attached. We call them is as labels. Again, these labels can be uh, again mapped to the business components. These can be, let's say a verification, for pi, uh, verification point. So let's say after login to the Oracle application, we want to verify the login is successful or not. So uh, we can do that, we can simply right click again and we can map it with a function library. That function library is again a business component. We can search for a particular, let's say navigate uh, to responsibilities. That's one of my business component. I can uh, select that or even I can add any particular business component at any point of time. And also on the right hand side, if you can see, uh, there is one more button uh, which can automatically also creates all these business components uh, by a single click. So this option is also there. So uh, once all those business components are created or they are linked to the business components at the backend, Opki will take over it and Opki will create the test cases automatically. That is the beauty of Opki that once a business model is created, once a, a complex business model is created, uh, a user can be assured that uh, you, know, you know the functionalities would not be missed while testing. Everything would be done by this particular uh, Opkey's interface which we have. So uh, we have all these options. Now what we'll do, we'll, uh, you know, this will take some time. So we'll, uh, this is a draft model. We'll open up one of the model which we have already, we have created. So this is the one, you can see this is, this looks quite complicated. So uh, st from start to stop node, every path which is there, that consists of a test case. So we'll go to this publish model section. We'll have some uh, options over there, like light coverage test cases or, uh, right coverage or let's say uh, let's say it's edge coverage vertex coverage so we have clicked on it and now it has created or analyzed that 11 test cases are there inside this model so every path between the start and stop node that becomes a model uh, that becomes a test case in opkey and these are the test cases so these are all the new test cases which have been created and inside those test cases these are the function libraries or the business components we can uh, expand it. Impacted test cases is nothing because this is the first time we have created it. Now we can click on the publish uh, button and we can select a folder. Even we can create a new folder and uh, uh, we can simply, it Opki will actually create those 11 test cases. Now it has just analyzed it. 
but we can also create those test cases. So you can create those test cases with a single click of a button. So we'll just select the folder and we'll click on select. And you will see that in a, in a moment, it will create those 11 test cases. Yeah, this done. So we can click on close button. And uh, if we can refresh it on the left hand side, this was the folder created. Inside it, there are these are the 11 test cases. If I open one of it, this is how it looks like. So all those business components are inside it. So login to Oracle application, navigate the responsibility, and create standard purchase order. Everything is there. And uh, all these uh, test cases or all these business components inside the test case contains few of the uh, input arguments. Like say, uh, this particular create requisition has a requisition item login takes username and password from the user. Now, in a particular model, uh, we can go to the draft model again. Now, let's say if I have uh, changed my functionality in my, uh, you know, in my application, I, I have a few of the uh, steps which have been deleted now. They were previously there, but now they are not required. Or even we can do some addition to the model because there were few steps, uh, few functionalities in my application which has has been deleted, but few few of the uh, functionalities have been newly added. So I can do this particular, uh, you know, changes in my model that can be done uh, and once that particular model is again you know we have done the modifications then uh, we can do the impact analysis that is again very major feature inside Opti wherein uh, you know we can uh, find out how many test cases were impacted so we'll just show you how that looks like so we can uh, you know after arranging all those uh, business components or these uh, vertexes together we can just link one of so we, now we are adding one uh, this particular uh, business component with one of the other uh, business components so this edge has been i will save it now if we go and click on uh, this publish model button again again uh, we can select either edge coverage test cases vertex coverage all coverage or light coverage so light coverage is the uh, best option to choose for it gives a minimum number of uh, test cases what is analyze that how many test cases were so if you can see now published model is showing up with some of the red uh, boxes which are the deleted one or the added one and below there is a draft model on the right hand side there are unchanged test cases are three eight test cases were impacted test cases out of 11 eight were impacted because of those modifications done and uh, new test cases also there are three new test cases which have been created so this way, uh, because of that particular uh, modification which we have done, uh, we can understand that there are eight impacted test cases for which we have to execute those eight test cases again. And uh, we can skip the uh, unchanged three test cases. Or even we have to execute the new test cases. So the impact analysis is something which can be done uh, by the user. Opki takes care of, care, uh, care of it and uh, user will not have to think more about it. So finally, I uh, would like to say that uh, with MBT, uh, you can make sure that uh, you know uh, the model is done once but opki will take care of all the uh, test cases created and uh, the impacted test cases would be showcased by opki with the modifications done in the model and that ensures that there is no uh, particular feature or functionality which is missing on the application so uh, i would like to thank you all for watching this video and we'll encourage you to try this for yourself and share your valuable feedback to us please feel free to contact us uh, at support at the rate of key.com. Thank you.